Previously on The Young and the Restless. Enjoy the time you have left together. Make every moment count. I want a big service. He usually goes to bed, I go down and gamble more. Bye, good luck. <laughs> Call if you're gonna be late. Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, evening TV. <laughs> Hey guys, today we're gonna play Poker Tour with Mr. Joey in Atlantic City. Why? So you were down through like 30 bucks when I went to bed, and then you went out to gamble more. How much, and you ended up down 1500? Yeah, I over dipped up. <laughs> this looks like a. Uh... Probably my day, two day, two day budget. So it looks like about seven fifty. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I had my voucher. Uh huh. Put that in. Started playing fifteen dollars in this thing. Did you record some? No. Oh my god, dude. I walked that in like ten minutes. <laughs> got like two hundred more dollars. I go and play three card poker. I'm betting like thirty dollars a hand. I I got like queen high. <laughs> Go to the ATM, get a thousand dollars out. I play blackjack, I'm betting like 50, 75 a hand. She fucking, she got like 20, 21, like six times in a row. And that was the end of it? Went back to that machine, put 300 in it, lost that in like 10 minutes. And you got no footage? No, I didn't get any footage. Oh. That's the worst part. It didn't take long. I lost like $1,500 in like an hour. Oh my god. So I don't feel as bad. Alright, start of day two. Joey's down 1500, I'm down 890. I win. <laughs> So we are entering a, a two-day tournament. It's three hundred dollars. When you're living that Borgata, when you're living that Borgata tournament life, this is the breakfast table. Like Joey and I are sitting down for a nice breakfast. I wouldn't call it nice. How, how good do I need to get to, to trade you eleven percent for ten percent? Eleven? I would do that now. I mean, but we already made a deal. No, no, yeah, you don't need to do that now. 17, 10% would be right. fair or something like right. that. For those of you who don't know poker, like tournaments are so volatile and this is a big field that you have to navigate through. So we'll trade, like, uh, you know, I'm getting 10% of his winnings and he's in exchange for 10% of my winnings. But on the second entry, it's 12% of Joey for 10% of me. All right, bro. 11? Whatever. 11. 11. I'm such a dick, but I am better than him at tournaments. Yeah, here. Got it, no, it's okay. Thanks. Thanks. Joey registering. Alright, right, so it's the first break. We only played for about 40 minutes. Joey is freaking out. Somebody knocked over his coffee. He, he, he lost a regular amount of hands, no big deal. And he's fucking losing it. Dude, he's losing it. I'm so worried about you. Joey, look, you're gonna win, you're fine. A few moments later. Okay, so I, I, I just busted my first stack, but it was a really interesting hand. I had pocket sevens, like under the gun plus two. Kid to my right raises, standard raise, like 700. The blinds are 150, 300. I just flat call my pocket sevens. Then a kid on the button uh, makes it 3,500. But he had been raising and re-raising so much so, when he raised, people at the table laughed. Like he had been raising light so often. Then a player in the big blind, this Asian player, calls but he throws in an extra 5k chip so it's 8500 and and, he's, and then he goes oh no i meant to call it folds back to the player on my right he thinks for a while folds and then i just go all in the first kid calls he has ace king of spades player who mistakenly raises folds and and the dude river to king it was a good spot i'm proud of flipping with dead money in there it's definitely a positive ev spot so i'm gonna re-enter 
two hours later. All right, so we're on the next break. I have 116,000 in chips, starting stacks 40, so it's gone well. Got to eat. Okay, Mr. Joey, how are we doing? I think I got like 30,000. So, you're, dude, you're in it. You're well. Yeah, I'm fine. Today's my day. I've had aces twice and kings once. Yo, there was a hand I had ace king. Three bets at 5,000 on a board of like seven five. Three. I ended up winning with ace king high, like by the river, with Jeff Drew. Showdown? I had sixes in that hit. Yeah. I was thinking about jamming. I just didn't know what the guy next to me had. Can I use this in my YouTube channel? Yeah. You right now talking, can I use this in my YouTube channel or not? Yeah. So better you. poker player lost. So you can use whatever you want. <laughs> Yo, so you guys know how a lot of people think like Babs or Lola Bunny from Space Jam are hot. You feel a little weird about it, but it's true. Like cartoons can be hot. I'm about to put you on to a hot fucking abstract statue. Look at this fucking baby. Woo Bro, check her out. Woo Your update, what do you add? I rebought, I haven't played a single hand. All right, so it's the end of re-entries, level 10. I got uh, 160,000. My goal was to have double starting stack, and it always is at the end of revise, especially when I re-enter, because that's how many chips I fucking paid for. But I got four, four times starting stack, so I'm in good shape. But in our break, you know, there's no real dinner break. I like to do a little break time parkour. So if you'll follow me this way, parkour! Joey, do a little break time parkour. Good luck. Parkour! That was sick. Parkour! He's, he's spinning like a top. I'm fucking dizzy, dude. That was a bad idea. Are you bored? Are you having fun? Nah, I'm not having fun at all. You got 160. That's good, man. I'm really happy. That call, dude, it was I won 40k off that hand with Queens. The dude hadn't played a hand. He raised under the gun to 2,800. The level is 600, 1,200. Folds to me. I'm in a cutoff with Queens. I make it um, 8,000. He it folds to him, and then he calls. The flop is Jack 9, 5 with two clubs. He checks. I bet 10K. He calls. Then the turn is a deuce of nothing. It doesn't bring a backdoor or anything. And then he jams 27K. And I'm like, fuck, what is this under the gun? But if he had a better hand than me, he would have repopped a pre-flop. He's not, and he's not raising jack nine under the gun, I don't think. So I thought for a bit, not not very long. I'm a pretty quick actor, but uh, he had nine ten of diamonds. So would you have called there? I didn't notice him, but yeah. Joey, what happened to your Yo, first stack? You gotta... What happened to your first stack? Usual. When I'm in dominating position, I lose. When I have marginal hands, the worst turn of river cards come out, and I lose every flip. You're such a goddamn victim. This is gold. Why would I stop filming when you're a perpetual victim? Is it the truth? Yes. So how's that? What's the truth? That when every I'm time you have a good hand, you when lose? When I'm dominating position, I lose. When I'm, I have a marginal hand, the worst turn of river cards come out, and every flip I lose. How is that true? You're a fucking victim. Joey, I don't mean to be mean. I tried to inspire him earlier. I'm not just only yelling at him, but he, he's a victim. Be happy. Why is it easy for me to be happy? Because you have 160,000, you ship a tournament. But Joey... Why don't, you, why don't you think in terms of how I feel when I get fucking cool or everything? Oh my God. Do you remember the times that I, like our first videos, that I, I got bad beat twice? Like, like what, multiple what buy beats? I jammed with Ace Queen and the guy called with nines. Like me, he made a horrible call. Then I had I had a set and the guy jammed with what, a flush draw. My first buy-in. No, no, no. Just listen. What was your bad beats? You got cooler. That happens every time. Not every time, dude. You're up thousands I'm going in PLO. You get annoyed. Why are you such a, a victim? I tried the positive route, guys. Don't judge me for being so mean to him. I really tried to pep him up, but he wasn't having it. He wants to be like, oh, I never hit hands, I never make shit. Yeah, we always argue, like, Joey's the type of person, like, we played heads up one time online. I had ace five of clubs, jammed, he had jack king of hearts. Pre-flop, jammed, he called, and the flop comes, you know, king something something, brick, and then the river's an ace. And he goes, oh my god, how'd you come from behind? It's like, what do you, how do you think like that? I didn't come from behind, I was ahead, you fuck. I'm about to take one step step one foot outside just for the principle of it so I'm not inside all day in fucking casino mode non-stop casino fucking mode there we go all right I did it back in back to win this is a tough call I'm in the mood for sushi but I'm in a casino it's 50 50 do I go for casino sushi 
or do I use my better judgment? I mean, that is not fresh looking fish. I'm bringing sushi back to my table. I hope my whole table is definitely allergic to fish. Two hours later. I got 113,000, one more level before the end of the day. I use this as a backdrop because I'm really important now that I'm getting recognized by dealers like Charles. I, I earned the important people fucking interview backdrop. I'm interviewing myself though, and people are looking at me as they walk by. But I don't care, man. One day it'll be a real reporter. Yo, so I haven't really been betting sports, but since it's a degenerate channel and obviously it's like fucking brand new, I have to bet on the home run derby tonight. But I have to bet. Let me pick who the fuck to bet on. I got. I have to. Oh, I forgot Freddie Freeman. I have to do him just because I look like him a little bit. That, that's that's it. It's decided. Freddie Freeman. That's how we pick bets here on the channel. Okay, whoever you look like. Be right back. I just placed a fucking sports bet in New Jersey. This is like a, a joyous day. I'm in New Jersey right now. I'm so pumped. I did 50 on Freddie Freeman, 50 on Bryce. I gotta go with the chalk, because last year I lost man money betting on everybody but, um, what's his name, Aaron Judge, and I regret it. So I gotta be a little chalky, guys. I need a win. BRB with the wins. Here's the proof. I know you guys don't question my degeneracy, but I just, I gotta show you the evidence. You feel me, dog? Oh, motherfucker. You know what I just realized? They play each other in the first round. It's Freddie Freeman versus Bryce Harper. And I bet on each of them. That's pretty dumb, sort of. Everyone wants to go back to the table, including me. I haven't been outside today except for one, one other break when I got some fresh air. Go Let me walk. get some fresh air. I'm broke. Yeah, what up? Walk, <laughs> What's good? All right, so I was doing well but I busted. I had one level left to make it in a day and I ended up fucking busting. There's a second day one. It's like there's two day ones. One that started at 11 a.m. today, one that starts at 5 p.m. today. Day two starts at noon tomorrow. And I, last time I did this, I regretted not playing the second day one. So I'm firing one more bullet. I'm, I'm still focused and ready to play poker. So this is gonna go to like 3 a.m. We're not gonna sleep very long, but I, I'm, I'm with it. <laughs> What have you been up to? So good. Game on lots of money. Alright. So I, I'm, it's the end of re-entries for the second flight. I have 61k. I had 100,000 more than this. The end of re-entries in the first flight. But we're positive. We're even killed. We won some money with Bryce Harper. Alright. Bryce came back and won. You didn't see it? Oh my god. Yo, it was crazy, dude. It was a sick comeback. Off. And comes on eight. But tonight... He calls timeout with 2.38. Not the start that Harper wanted. I think, I think his dad looked Bryce. Oh. Good, and he calls timeout as he watches it. And he sits there with nine home runs and a minute 20 left on the clock. Which is unfair. It's, it's a home run. So third. This will be over soon. Fucking the bonus time. There it is! Center field and Bryce Harper has thrown his bat in the air and won the 2018 T-Mobile Home Run Derby. He fucking pulled it off, yo. It was sick. Two hours later. 98k now. We got three more levels left or some shit. It's midnight. I've been playing since fucking 12.30. I'm tired, but doing good chipping up slowly two hours now i'm at the highest point i've been even in the first flight again like around 160k 156 so just gotta make it 30 more minutes this time to go to bed to make it to day two we're gonna do it Once we seal the bag, we done? Yeah, once you seal the bag, you guys Not can leave. Not bad. Uh, 2.30 a.m. I'm glad I did flight two. I bagged like 128K. Going to bed, be back at noon. All right, so it's 2.30 a.m. The sun has set on a beautiful degenerate day. Joey is sleeping. I gotta get some rest and be back at the table at noon. I'll see y'all in the morning. P.S. Bonus victim footage. Okay, so fuck Borgata, fuck their tournaments, fuck poker. Vegeta, what does the scatter say about his victim level? It's over 9,000! What, 9,000? There's no way that can be right! So basically, my, uh, my, my tournament career, poor God, is summed up by when I'm a huge favorite, I get out drawn on the Turner River. When I have a coin flip, I lose. And... 
most of the time I get jack shit, and then I run into aces like every time. I've run into aces like four times in the last two tournaments. Twice when I had kings. I don't know, it's brutal. Uh, but, you know, that's what happens. You go on bad streaks, and then when you win, you, go, you win for a while. So, I know how that's how it works. So, it's just it's just really fucking bad right now. I mean, I, I, I just, I have no chance. It's just that simple. I have no chance to win. 